How are we all doing? My name is Vertic Designs and welcome back to another video here on this channel. For this one, I'm going to go over the basics of resizing an image, rescaling, editing the image, and pretty much just go over the general things that you need to know about how to actually modify an image or just change the size of it. First of all, create a project. This is completely up to you. You can either create a new project by simply dragging this into Photoshop, the work area right here, or you can go to file, open, and in here you can create your own custom size for the project. The one thing that you need to know is you have this area up here. This area here is all about your project. So if you had multiple projects open, they are going to be in separate tabs. And that is pretty much it. That's the first bit that you need to know. To actually resize it, you can do it two ways. The first way is with show transformation controls. This is something used a lot by people who are new to Photoshop. And it can be quite useful because you don't really need to remember any shortcut keys. You just go up here, make sure you are on the first tool. I don't think it shows it for ones and click on show transformation controls or transform controls. This will pretty much create these points on the corners of the image and every time you resize it and you double click on it, double left click, it will keep them right there. So you can always go back, move it around, change it whenever you want. If you want to be more advanced with this, so if I do control on Z to undo, untick this. The other way, in my opinion, is a lot quicker to do because all you do is press Ctrl and T, or if you're on a Mac, it is Command and T, and that will get you the same action. Okay, so now that we've gone over the basics, we are now going to import another image on top of this one. This is commonly known as Picture Inside Picture. It is basically where you put a, another picture on top of this one and they overlay each other. For example, if I open up my folder, I have a sun flare, which is right here. It is gonna act like an effect for this image. Just like before, left click and drag this into the work area. You will notice the border will highlight and that is when the image is available. So you can import it. If that white line doesn't come up and you get a different icon, like an error one with the sign saying you can't do it, this means that the image is either corrupt or unsupported file. When it's like this, you want to try and make sure that it is either PNG, JPEG, or some sort of supported file. Just try your best to convert them. If you can't import them into Photoshop, you can always go to other websites, or you can take a screenshot and then save it and then reopen. As you can see, automatically, it is set it to have the transformation controls. The other thing that is really useful, and you all need to do this, if you hold shift and drag the corners, it will maintain the aspect ratio. And this is really important if you want your projects to look professional. If you don't, let's say you just drag it like this, it just doesn't really look very good. So I'm just gonna apply this and press Ctrl on Z to undo, import it again, and do it properly this time. Once again, hold shift, drag this in, move it around, the next thing that you can do with an image to edit it is you can actually flip this. Now, by default, you can drag this corner to this side and it will automatically flip it. The only problem with this is that you don't exactly know how far to go out. So let me just undo this. The best way to flip an image is to right click, go to the bottom and you have both options here. For me, I'm going to do it horizontal because I need the sun flare on this side rather than that side. I'm going to move it to where I want. One thing that I can do with my image right now because I can't really see the sun is I can actually turn this image down and that will make them overlay on each other. Control T again to resize, hold shift, position it correctly, make it larger. When you are changing the size of an image, you should always try to make it a small object. Like I mentioned before, it is good for rescaling and changing the size. If you don't know how to do it, you right click on a layer, go to convert to small object, and now this is a small object. And since this looks good right now, I'm going to turn it back to 100%. To convert it back to a layer, what I like to do to save some time is I go to the eraser tool. This icon will pop up. Just click on the image, 
message will come up asking, would you like to turn this into a layer so you can edit it and you want to press OK. For me, I'm going to go with the razor tool and just go around this image to remove the edges, make them smoother. Then I'm going to go to the effects, which is right here. It is set on normal right now and I'm going to set this one to screen. For the very last thing that I'm going to go over is I'm going to create a new project just to have two of them open. Now, the reason for this is because some people want to know how to move some objects from here onto the second project. It's really simple. All you do is left click and drag this up here. And when this comes up, you can pretty much put it inside here. And that is how you move it from one project to another. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. It shows other people it was a good video. Leave a comment on what you think of the video. You can check out my social media and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.